I'm here at Slice Engineering and um, Dan's not here. So we're gonna go and find Dan. Okay, we're back at day two at Murph. My good friend here, Dan from Slice Engineering. How are you doing, brother? Doing great. Yeah. Amazing. Last so, time, last time I saw, yeah, last time I saw you, of course, was at TCT 360 last year. Yeah. What's new? Um, so we've done a lot of new things since then, actually. Uh, we just at this show today launched our Apex nozzle line, which is designed for non-planar and belt printers. And there's two different options there: either our vanadium tool steel option. Uh, which has that lifetime warranty against abrasion, which is great. Uh, and then also a bridge master option. So if you need a copper core, you're trying to do some really detailed prints or really high flow prints, you can go with the bridge master version. So Apex covers both of those different options. And uh, right now we've got the 0.4 size nozzles, but we'll be coming out with 0.6.8 and the whole full range uh, pretty soon. So excited about that. Um, other new things are we've got nozzle packs now, which are fun. So you get five nozzles in one package. We've got some really cool 3D printed packaging that we make in house, which is fun. Um, and then uh, at TCD 360, I don't think we've rolled out the Magnum Plus liquid or the uh, Mosquito Conduct, which goes on both the Magnum Plus and the regular Mosquito. But that's a conductively cooled hot end. It's designed to mount directly either to a metal plate that has enough surface area to cool it via air or to a liquid cooled plate. But it allows, it has a dovetail setup that allows for a really quick swap, like 30 second swap to the hot end. Uh, so it's kind of a fun, fun setup That's there. cool. I mean, I've been seeing a lot of stuff about the socks, mm -hmm. which are yep. probably really cool. That's true. Um, so I need to get my, myself and my hands on those things yeah. as well. Um, I'm having a blast with your stuff. You know, I've got it on my Prusa, I've got it on my rat rig, I've got, you know, Bontech stuff teams with Slice Engineering gear yeah. across the range of printers that I use on a daily. And uh, I'm so, so happy with the flow rates and the way things work. And I never get a single blockage. So, you know, <laughs> uh, it, it does yeah. what it says on the tin, certainly. Yeah. But um, so business is going well. This is going well, yeah. I mean, we, Q1 was our best ever quarter. We're continuing to grow and hire people, which is great. Um, and then obviously shows like this help to get the word out there and, and let more people that are getting into the hobby learn about us and, and what we're doing and, and help fix some of those problems that that are you know, issues for people that cause frustrations or maybe even make people want to abandon the hobby because they can't quite get it right. So hopefully we can help solve some of those things for, for people just coming in. The thing that really stuck with me at TCT 360, because I picked you up from the airport and we went yeah. up to Birmingham and stuff, your dedication for support because even when we were driving to Birmingham, you're still on tech support calls. Yeah. You know, you, you don't stop. Right. And what, you know, you're so heavily motivated by your business and by your product line. What keeps you going? How do you relax? Relaxing is hard, I, I'm not gonna lie. Um, the business kind of consumes me a lot. Uh, so I guess really when I relax is, I've got a, there's some very dedicated time that I spend at home. So like when I, when I leave the office about 5.30 every day, uh, I'll go home and I, I turn my phone off, I take off my slice gear that I wore to work, I put on just shorts and jeans and you know, a t-shirt or something, I hang out with my family until they go to bed and then, uh, and then sometimes I get back to work. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, so during those hours I like just clear my mind of anything business related and you know, spend time with the family. That's so, good man, yeah. that's good, that's, that's very humbling as well isn't it? Where can people see you on the next up and coming events? Yeah, this, so we'll be at Earth, the East Coast Rep Rap Festival, yep. which is just outside of Baltimore. Great event, highly recommend it to anybody that wants to really get into the hobby or learn more about technology coming out. And, and really, the Rep Rap Festivals are great, just times to hang out and, and meet people. You know, if you want to shake Joel Telling's hand or shake Sam's hand, you should go. Are you going to be there? I don't know. If I won't be at Earth. Be at Earth. Okay. I'm definitely coming back to this one. Okay, though, so cool. Yeah, this is a good one. So it's a great, great place to meet people. Uh, you know, we were set up right next to Joseph Prusa and got to talk to him a few times. And so there's a little, you know, all the big name folks in the industry are here. The next show after that will be Form Next, which is a very much an industrial show. So we, of course, serve both markets, yeah. kind of the more hobbyist market, consumer market, as well as the industrial market. And I'll be there at that show. Awesome. That's yep. going to be a great show. I'm really looking forward to that. So you caught our death races as well. I know yeah. you have the files. You've yeah. been super, super busy with all these new products as well. Right. Are you going to build one? We're going to build one. Yes, we're going to build one for Form Next. It's going to be, you know, in our color scheme. Pretty excited about it. i got to figure out what we're going to do for the head. Yeah. Because uh, we need a model of something 
you know, unique. Uh, yeah, so the Lulzbot racer with it, their Mega the Mega oh, Squid yeah. guy inspired me. And then you also had a cool print with uh, like a skull yep. uh, version. So uh, we're going to have to figure something out that really fits with Slice. That's cool, man. Hey, yeah. listen, thanks for your time. Thank Appreciate you, it, Dan.